Good morning, everybody. It's Susie from Create Your Canvas. Just coming on here. It's Monday morning. We're going to have a great week. I hope your weekend was amazing. Andy and I had a great weekend. It was um, Saturday. Oh, my word. The thunderstorm that went through. Um, just let me say, we were kayaking on the river, and I decided we should chance it, and, well, we were still on the river when the rain hit. <laughs> so we were completely soaked all the way down. It was just immense. We had water in our kayaks. It was fun. We sat underneath the bridge for a while till it passed. Um, and then Sunday we had family day for the National Guard getting ready to ship off many of the soldiers. Um, I guess they're called warriors right now. Um, so, you know, because in one week at this time next week, I will not be on. Um, because my son will be taking him to the armory to ship off to Oklahoma to do his basic training. So anyway, oh, this mom, she's doing good. I'm doing good. No tears yet. Um, but anyway, so that's a little bit about my weekend. I hope you all had a great weekend and you had wonderful stories to tell too and created many, many memories. But it is Monday morning. It's after 8.05 and we are going to do a quick little painting with another little chipmunk. Is he not so adorable? I love this little flower. So, and this is a felty or something like this. It's like a felt animal. It's not actually a chipmunk, um, but it is adorable. So we're going to paint him. That's what I think. All right. So this is what we're painting. And I did notice I did not bring my pencil up here. So <sighs> anyway, so take a deep breath. Let it all out. Grab your cup of choice, like mine is coffee today. If you drink tea, whatever you need, grab your cup and let's get started. Can y'all see this fun wild hair? I don't know what, it won't It won't stay down. <laughs> it just keeps catching my eye. So anyway, but you're not gonna see me here in a second. Um, it's all fun, no worries. All right, let's flip everybody and get started. I really am working on, I just have way too many things going on. Um, a way that I don't have to, to change my view. Okay. Oops. Here is our cute little chipmunk. And I took my graphite pencil downstairs. So I'm going to use this graphite pencil, which isn't quite like what I like, but it's okay. It works. It's just a regular number two pencil. No worries. Lay it on its side. Make sure I have it all. So lay it on its side to just shade the back of this to create that carbon paper that we need. Figure out where he's gonna go. I'm gonna place him kind of towards the center. Get a, oh, there it is, it's on the floor. Get a pencil pencil and a mechanical pencil. Just kind of draw him out where, however much you need. Remember, there's no right or wrong to how much you need to draw out. He's got the cutest, he's so cute. I don't know if like in person, chipmunks are quite this adorable. I mean, I don't think Alvin and the chipmunks were quite this adorable. But, you know, they were pretty cute. All right, here's some darkness. Remember, you can draw out as much as you need. There's really not a right or wrong. Not at all. Then this, now that I'm actually looking at it, has some of these green cute leaves out here I'm gonna draw on his little hand. I don't know how much of his feet will do because I'll probably put like um, 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 some grass around him. Some hair. Here's his little tail. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Good enough. I know he's super hard to see because this isn't as dark and intense as my graphite pencil. And that I usually use. Um, that I happened to take downstairs to do something with and then I told myself, hey, probably should make sure you take that downstairs. Did I? No, I did not. That's okay. All right. So using our red, yellow, and blue because this is, we're still working on our primary colors and the amazing flexibility that they have. 
we're going to um, I'm going to drop some water on them to help them to start to kind of you know we take them from the solid to the liquid and ours is kind of you know it's kind of a reddish brownish color um, so when you make brown brown is actually just all of the primary colors this is from last uh, last week this green so green is yellow and blue um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take red and I'm gonna get a little water on this green that I used last week and mix them together see it kind of makes it this one is kind of a gray because of the amount so we'll just take a little red put it back in Okay. And I want it to be a slight orange tone to it. So what I'm going to do is take a little yellow. Yeah, there we go. Can add a little more green in because that green will have that blue in it. Perfect. All right. So this is going to be our base of our um, chipmunk. And we're going to kind of plop in some color wherever I think or know that he's got color. Okay, and I want you to just enjoy this process, all right? Please don't think, oh my goodness, you know, it's not gonna turn out or whatever. It's a process, it's a layering. Um, you know, it's, and you're not trying to make it exactly like the photo. I say this, I think, every single video that if we wanted a photo, we'd take a photo, we'd stick it in a frame, and we'd put it on our wall. This is a, I like to use this as one of my tools to, to stay focused. If I'm unfocused, I can um, sit down a lot of times and paint a little bit because painting just allows you the, the ability, this is his foot, um, to unwind, to unwrap what's going on in your, in your mind, because um, we all do it. Uh, we get hung up on things. So this just helps you to focus in on doing what you're doing. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush a little. And I'm going to try and like where it's lighter and you can't see it. I'm going to. This is our first level. I'm just kind of throwing in some colors. Which I know this is right here will be as white. See the white. But it's I don't want it to be completely white so I'm just adding in some water doing that I already have green I don't know if you already will have green but I'm gonna plop in um, it's actually called blocking in case you want a, an actual term huh? blocking in is just when you're kind of coming in and you're putting stuff where you think you want it to be giving it a little um, once over, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll do this yellow here in the center. See how he's coming together? And he has no detail, okay? So we're not, we're not looking for detail at all. I'm gonna take some of this dark color and add it over here with this dark color. If you kept this, this is why I love my little tin because th these right here, this is the colors that we used last week, okay, last Friday. Um, so then you can just touch them with a little bit of water and you can get your colors to start to come out. It's a lot of fun it, and it saves a lot of effort later, especially like right now this month we're doing animals. So um, you, a lot of times animals have the same tones, the same type of color. I'm just kind of going on my pencil lines with for that flower. Okay? All right. So we've kind of blocked him in. He's not at all done. Don't think that, oh my goodness, you know, whatever. I don't even know what you'd be thinking. Um, you should be thinking this is the process and it's all good. <laughs> That's what you should be thinking. All right. So I'm going to take some of my watercolors here that have gotten to almost, I don't want to say a paste, but they're a lot thicker than what I've been working with. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing <clears throat> with the blue. See when you have more pigment in your, see how much thicker they are and they don't want to move around as much. Um, that's always a good thing. 
So I'm just gonna take a little and move it into here, which gives me this deep, 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 vibrant purple, which is great because we're going for a dark, dark color. And I'm gonna take some of my pasty like yellow and I'm gonna start to mix it in. Now, if you take too much and you mix it in and it becomes, I'm showing you exactly what I, you should have just put it over there. Um, but this is more of a green tone now. It's, I'm telling you, sometimes art is like a science project because you have to mix and then if you over put it in, it's like, oops. Um, then you have to add in more and it's kind of cool though because you can just sit here and go, ooh, that's the tone I like right there. Um, and if it's not quite right, then you just, you know, pick up another one of the colors you want. Next month, we're gonna be having adding black and white. So we'll actually have a little more um, choices, but you know, I really like to use as much as I can. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. Um, just the primary colors because it just helps you to learn and grow with them. There we go. All right, his eye is gonna be, I'm gonna soak up some of that because that's too much water, too much water. All right, there we go. Okay, and then this color that we did of his fur, I'm gonna add a little more red. And a little more yellow. Because I want his fur to have more of a reddish orange color. Remember, it's just a science project. Just kind of play with it. I mean, if even if all you do is sit and play with um, the tones of the colors, okay? All right, now you wanna start doing little hair-like motion so that it starts to look like fur. Start bringing in that right color. It's a lot of fun. It's just trial and error. There's, there's really so few rules in um, art, at least in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sure if I, uh, you know, if you go to school to be an art teacher and stuff like that, which I did not, um, there probably are actual rules. There are a handful. Perspective is very, you know, very uh, rigid, I guess, maybe is the right word. Because if you don't get perspective right when you're doing a perspective painting, then, ooh, it just does not look right. You know, uh, mechanical things, things that are super, you know, trains, cars, that type of thing. I don't really generally like to do them because if you don't get it right, then it just, it's like one wrong thing. Like if the motor doesn't look quite right and it's like at the wrong angle by slight, you, I mean, you can tell. And then it, it just totally takes away from stuff. So that's why I don't like to do those kind of things. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this darker color and add it in here. Oops, that might've been too much. No worries. Just have fun with it, it's all good. I keep coming up here to soften these lines as they dry, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Okay, there's a foot here and there's a foot here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, this fur needs to have um, a little color to it, just a little, so I have this odd color up here which I'm sure is just red, blue, and yellow with lots of water. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and shadow, cause he's kind of sitting, these are his legs. So this would be like, um, like a shadowed place. 
this right here is probably a shadow place in the white, but you don't want to take away from the white. Don't get, don't get crazy on me. Just kind of soften it in here. Ta -da. All right. Now, I want to make this green a little more green with a little bit less water. So that's why I'm using the stuff that's kind of dried on here. That way I don't have too much water. And then I'm just gonna dab it in as like another layer. It helps too to make your flower pop out because it's nice and dark. There. Just kind of form little leaves, like little triangle, like, you know, they're nothing fancy. You're just adding some color really, but. And I'm just over exaggerating now because that's what I like to do. Okay. Then there's this dark color that we use. We're gonna use a smidgen more to add one more layer to his eye because we want his eye to look really dark. Maybe something from last week. All right. And then I'm gonna take, I don't know, what do you wait? I guess we can do the yellow again. So what did everybody do this weekend? I already said at the beginning of my video what I did and now that y'all are coming on, you can tell me what amazing things you had. I like interaction. I can answer them as soon as I'm done or I can, if I see them on video, I'll answer your question. I mean, did some of you do gardening? Actually, I should have done gardening, but I, you know, like I said earlier, I chose to go um, kayaking. And of course, then the storm hit, so we, were, we got wet, but. Okay, now I'm just gonna take some of the water that's on my brush, kind of dry it off a little, just smooth out a little bit of this. I like, the I like the way he's turning out. I wasn't really sure how he would turn out, but I'm liking it. And he is in the grass, so I'm going to use some of last week's grass color. Just be super, super light and gentle, and you know, don't don't take yourself seriously, okay, at all. This is not a serious moment. When you go to work or, you know, something like that, sure, that's that's serious stuff. This is just fun stuff. This is, let's just have a nice, gentle, quiet, fun, relaxing 20 to 30 minutes of your morning. I've been reading up that it starts, <clears throat> how you start your day sets the tone for the rest of the day. So... You just want to have fun. You just want to relax. And on the days that I don't do this, Tuesday and Wednesday, I encourage you just to do something. Um, maybe it's not to, to, to paint. Maybe it's to, um, I don't know, read a book. Maybe it's just sit and stare outside. I like to do that sometimes. Let's make we're gonna flick this up to make it look like grass. This is just a darker color. It's more green, um, more bluish, because this is more of a blue tone. And then all I'm doing is I just take the brush and kind of flick upward and it helps it to look like grass. Remember, if you need it to be lighter, then, um, and I don't mean like lighter, like white lighter. I mean, 
Like if you feel like, oh, I made a mistake, <clears throat> it just takes water. Just use a little water, it's all good. Okay. All right, so now let's go back and try to fix some of his fur. So the other day was Chuck the Chipmunk. This one could be a girl, Charlene. This is just a wet paintbrush where I'm just kind of guiding this paint to where I want it to go. Just dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 dab. There we go, he looks better. He's a little more, um, I don't wanna say difficult, but he is a little different. <laughs> All right, I think I don't really want, I'm trying to stay away from the Sharpie pencil, Sharpie marker. So I really don't want to do a Sharpie, but he needs some whiskers, but white is so hard to see. Uh, let's try this dark color. That's not too bad, I guess. It's all good. If you wanted to do the Sharpie, you could. It would definitely make him stand out more. Um, I don't think I want to today. I mean, I think maybe he'd be better. Because this is the one we did on Friday. And it's not that I don't like this one. Because I do. I think he's cute. But I was trying to stay away from that on this one because um, I wanted him softer. But I'm kind of wondering, I don't know. I'm going to leave him not. I'm going to vote no. Yes, no, I'm going to vote no. Yeah, I'm going to vote no. <laughs> it's like, oh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. See, I go through the same, same questions too. So don't worry. Just use a little of the darkness to stick it in here. Anyway, he doesn't look too bad. He's not hes not my favorite. So far, seriously, the duck is my favorite. Um, I don't know where the duck he went. Oh, here he is. This is the duck if you want to go back and watch this video. This is my favorite one so far. Um, Dylan the duck. He is not my favorite. I mean, it's not that I don't like him, but he's not my favorite. But we are going to say that that one is done because I went to. There's that crazy hair. Woo. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to thank you all for coming on. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. Some interaction is really what Facebook is looking for. So I'm trying to build up interaction so that they'll share my video more. Um, this is what we did today. You guys can all help me out by thumbs up, little hearts. Um, even the laughing one. Did I make you laugh today? <laughs> so get your cup of coffee, finish off the day. And thank you, Tammy. Um, finish off your day doing a little bit of something creative. It doesn't have to be spectacular. This by any means is not going to go into any art gallery and win any awards. Um, but you know what? I had fun and I encourage you to have fun too. So, um, go out, make your day wonderful and do something. I'd love to see you, uh, try these even if they don't turn out because seriously, it's okay. Um, I have a couple paintings here at my feet that I've been working on that are not turning out. So they, uh, but you know what? I'm doing art, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you Thursday morning at 8.05. I hope you will join me. Uh, we have a few more animals left to do. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't count them. Um, probably like seven, um, six, seven. I don't know. I don't know. 
doesn't really matter. So we'll just start something new for the following month. But I hope you all have a blessed, blessed week. And I will talk to you all and see you and paint with you on Thursday at 8.05. And thanks for joining. God bless. Bye.